Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well. If you're new here, my name's Habiba. I'm a full-time adventure traveler and this is my YouTube channel, Trekking Pals, where I share my adventures around the world. Today I am in the beautiful city of El Jadida here in Morocco and I am right by El Jadida beach, beautiful beach. And the reason I'm out here, I'm starting my adventure right here today is because it's right across the street from our accommodation. On this trip, I'm traveling with my mom. She's joining me for this leg of the journey. And the hotel where we're staying is a budget hotel called Ibis. Reasonably priced, clean, but great location. Literally across the street, you get access to the beach. So it's really wonderful because yesterday we took a late night walk. It's a school holiday right now in Morocco. So there were a lot of people out yesterday night. And then earlier this morning, I went for a run finally, which felt really, really good. Today we're going to take you inside the city of El Jadida, the old city, or what's also called the Portuguese city, to show you some of the beautiful monuments that you must see if you're visiting El Jadida. But first, we're going to find a cool local spot for some breakfast because it's getting a little bit late and we're starving. Behind me are two doors to access the fortress of the Portuguese city. This was built by the Portuguese in the 16th century and it's a UNESCO World Heritage. So we're going to go inside and see what the Portuguese city looks like from the inside. This is the Portuguese cathedral right behind me, one of the main buildings right here in the Portuguese city. And as you can see, it's still standing. It's called Notre Dame de l'Assomption. Notre Dame of Assumption, I'm assuming. <laughs> There are also a bunch of shops right here with the traditional souvenirs that you can grab if you wish. And this is right as you enter from the door right there. This one is also another important building here in the Portuguese city. It's uh, La Citerne. Portuguese and it's a great work of engineering when the Portuguese built the city. It was used as a reservoir to store the water to maintain life in the city. It's closed right now for renovation so unfortunately we can't tour it right now but I'm going to leave some photos to show you what it looks like from the inside. The breakfast place that I intended to go to is named Le Local but it's closed today which I didn't see online, it's a Monday. And so we just talked to a few people next to that restaurant and they recommended a different one. So we're gonna go and check it out. Fingers crossed, I didn't even read the reviews. Here it is, it's called Caliptus, right there. Let's check it out. This is actually a Riyadh where you can stay if you want to be here in the heart of the Portuguese city. But you can also stop by to have breakfast, which was really, really good. And I really love the view from the upper floor here. It's overlooking the water and you can see the walls of the Portuguese city, some of the residential buildings. Plus breakfast was super good. This was just a typical traditional Moroccan breakfast with hot beverage, cold beverage, some um, cinnamon and then omelette with some vegetables and olives. Thumbs up to this one. That's where we had breakfast earlier today and it's facing another minaret of another iglesia, another church here in the Portuguese city. There are some of the cannons that were used to protect the fortress right here and obviously the views over the water right here are spectacular to say the least.
The wall of the city extends all the way there. These are some of the boats on the port. This building is uh, pretty incredible. Oh my gosh, the views from up here are so incredible. You can't get enough. There are a lot of viewpoints, but it's never enough. Check this one out. So beautiful. I'm not sure what this deep hole was, but probably storage of some sort, I guess. Ooh, maybe storage for cannons and weapons. That could be a possibility. This uh, city, the Portuguese city, is so incredible. I believe it is the last city that was occupied by the Portuguese until the sultans kicked them out. They left cities like Safi and Agadir behind, but Mazagon, which is the old name of El Jidida, was the last one that was occupied by the Portuguese. The Portuguese citadel later served as the Jewish quarter. This synagogue stands as a lasting testament to the Jewish community of this once thriving trading port. Moroccan Jews from around the world visit this site to connect with their ancestors, and this is their story. Nous, on est là euh, au Maroc en voyage euh, pour, sur, le, sur les racines de notre famille. Donc, on vient de passer deux jours magiques à Casablanca, où ma mère euh, est née. Et a, ma, ma maman est née et a grandi jusqu'à l'âge de 17 ans, ma tante jusqu'à l'âge de 9 ans et mon oncle aussi jusqu'à l'âge de 15 ans. Et voilà, et on a retrouvé vraiment chaque endroit, les cinémas où ils étaient, c'était juste magnifique. Les Marocains sont un peuple accueillant, chaleureux, exceptionnel. Vraiment, on vit des moments magiques. On est tellement heureux de pouvoir venir ici, vous ne pouvez même pas vous imaginer. Et là, on est donc arrivé à El Jdida, qui était Mazagan, où mon grand-père est né en 1902 dans le Mélar. Et, et voilà, on n'a pas malheureusement plus de, plus de détails sur, sur l'endroit où il a vécu. Mais voilà, on a l'impression qu'il est ici avec nous et, et, et vraiment, on a l'impression d'être à la maison. Voilà, c'est exceptionnel. Merci, merci, merci au Maroc. Merci au Maroc, au Maroc et aux Marocains pour leur accueil. Vraiment, merci. Anna Simni Simone, au Khlakt Fleur Beda. Au Daba Adjidam Dar Beda, qu'on a eu un peu de temps sur le وهاد الصباح ملي كان خصنا نخليو الدار البيضاء ونجيو هنا بكينا لو مومون وانا مي لي بيي او ماروك اون سي سونتي على ميزون سي سي انكرويابل انكرويابل مي فري جي دي ا ميز انفون فو نو بوفي ميم با فو زيماجيني جو مي سون على ميزون جو سوي على ميزون Vraiment, et tout ça grâce à l'accueil des gens. Et qu'est-ce qu'on a dit grâce à... qu On n'a on pas envie de quitter On n'a pas envie de quitter Casablanca, on n'a pas envie de quitter le Maroc. Et voilà, oh, le est comme le Hena ou le Baraka. Si, pomegranate. Salam. Yum! So delicious! We just arrived to Marché Central. We were told that this is a better option to buy your fish and get it cooked right there instead of going to the port where it's already made and you buy it already made. So we're gonna check out Marché Central and we'll see if it's worth the hype. We just bought some seafood from the vendors right there. As you enter the market, you will see a bunch of them on one side and then on the other side. Uh, they have little restaurants where you bring your fish and then they either grill it or fry it for you and then you can order some sides like fries or salads. This is pretty convenient and to be honest, like all the seafood look pretty fresh. So I'm really excited to get some food in my tummy. Hello from La Plage de Sidi Bouzid. 
Sidi Bouzid is located on the southwest region of El Jadida, a little bit further out from the city, but we are out here for brunch and to walk by the ocean because Sidi Bouzid is known for having this beautiful beach for swimming, although beaches in El Jadida in general, including Sidi Bouzid and El Hawziyah, they can get a little bit tricky for swimming because of the currents, but Sidi Bouzid, in addition to the beautiful beaches out here, is known for having a lot of beautiful cafes and restaurants and it can make for a beautiful walk for sunrise or sunset and this morning we made our way out here we had to catch a ride so our driver earlier today recommended this cafe called la plage and it had a wonderful view overlooking the ocean so we went there to have a late breakfast brunch really really enjoyed the view from there and the breakfast was very tasty so for the rest of the day, we're going to walk by the beach, enjoy the waterfront and see where our adventure is going to take us next. We just bought some figs from the vendors on the street. Delicious. It smells so good by the water. There are a bunch of uh, fishermen or maybe just hobbyists. Ah, it brings so much joy to the heart to just be by the ocean. I could never get enough of this old piano. All the crashing sound the breaking waves down here Now I've been sitting here most of the day Today is our last day in El Jadida before my mom and I hit the road again but before we do that we're going out in this beautiful morning for a walk by the beach it's been my favorite thing to do here in El Jadida but also, I want to show you a pretty cool landmark per se. This is the Titanic of Morocco, a ship that wrecked and is still visible from the shore right here. The story of this ship is pretty interesting. This ship was transporting a good amount of precious wood to take it from Africa to Europe years ago. And the ship was caught in a storm. And so the team decided to dock in this spot right here thinking it was the port of El Jadida. Storm was really bad, the ship wrecked and then from the shore you can still see the remains of the ship. It's been foggy the last few days but I'm so happy that I get to get second look. I've seen it when we were driving from Ezemur to El Jadida but I didn't get a chance to take some photos but there it is. You can see it right there. It's such a treat this morning uh, there are a bunch of uh, horse riders surrounding the whole area where we are right now. There are a couple of them right there and then a bunch of them by the boats as well. They are training their horses from what I've gathered because there are a bunch of... Uh... My recorder died for this part of the video but I was saying that the trainers were riding their horses because there are a bunch of horse riding facilities around the area and because of the annual event in El Jadida called Le Salon du Cheval d'El Jadida, an annual horse show where riders come in from all around the world to compete. It's an amazing event if you happen to be in El Jadida so keep an eye out on my next video where I will be sharing with you a whole vlog about this huge horse show. Thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel my name is Habiba this is Tracking Pals and I will see you soon on another adventure